Good day. Welcome to Secular Advocacy TV. Today, we will be bringing to you the episode 4 of Gender-Based Violence. Stay with us. Mr. Kune would ask me to wait a little longer after school. Since there was never a need to rush home, I would oblige. He would buy me food and ask me to eat and relax in the security room. The unexpected happened at age 12. I was relaxing in the security room as usual and didn't know when I fell asleep. I woke up when I felt a hand caressing my body. I turned and it was Mr. Kunle. I asked him to stop but he didn't. Instead, he overpowered me, lifted my pinafo, pulled my panties and inserted something painful in my view. He covered my mouth with his hands as I tried to shout. I struggled with him, but he was too strong for me. A short while, Mr. Adamu, the second guard, came in and took his turn. When they finished, they both pleaded with me that it was the devil's work, that the devil overtook their consciousness. They helped to clean me up and got a bike to take me home. I wept bitterly for days. Fell ill and could not go to school for a week and for many weeks. My mother went to a pharmacy, bought malaria drugs and ordered me to take them. She left as usual without bothering to find out what was wrong with me. On the second week after the incident, I summoned the courage to talk to her. But she told me she was too busy that she needed to attend to a client who had ordered some product from her. She never bothered to find out what I wanted to discuss with her when she returned. I felt sad, worried, ashamed, afraid, alone and worthless. You may be wondering where my dad was. He was drunk and an absent dad, so he was unavailable. My mother was the one paying my school fees, paying the rent, and other bills. She was the breadwinner of my family. To me, my dad was dead. When I returned to school, my teachers and classmates were worried about how I looked. I had emaciated due to worry and sickness. I kept telling them that I was okay and that I would get better. Sometimes, I wonder if it was my upbringing that made me unable to stand for myself and report Mr. Kule and Adamu to the teachers and school authorities. Nevertheless, they kept begging me every day, especially because I passed through the school gates every day. I kept ignoring them. I had made up my mind never to grant them audience ever again. Alright guys, thanks for staying with us on today's episode. The next episode will be coming up next week Saturday, so stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to Secular Advocacy TV as our YouTube channel, Facebook or other social media handles. And also don't forget to invite your friends to subscribe. Oti Ezine is my name. See you in the next episode.
Oh, oh, oh.